the blues scale. Let the name not deceive you. You know, if you're not into blues, doesn't mean you cannot use this scale. This scale can be used in a number of different styles of music, very similar to the pentatonic scale. So I'd recommend learning the pentatonic scale before we go through the blues scale. But uh, yeah, let's just give that one a crack and see how we go. So here is the blues scale. So it's very similar, very similar to the pentatonic scale in the sense that the notes that we're playing the pentatonic scale are exactly the same, right? So you've got the A, C, D, E, G, A, etc. up the neck. Uh, blues adds an extra little passing note, which just adds a really nice flavor, a little bit extra to when you're riffing uh, in songs. So, A, C, D, to the D sharp, to the E. So that D sharp is that special one. So one, two, three. So it's like an extra fourth uh, note in that scale. And then you can obviously, if you play that again, an octave higher, which is up here. So. The, the blue scale so I'd recommend add that in it adds a really nice extra bit to your to your soloing 